Although we are still right in the middle of summer and summer dressing, I truly believe there is no bad time to talk about denim. And so that's what this video is going to be all about. I did a video very similar to this last year. It was a brand by brand, jean by jean look at how different styles fit petite women. I am only 5'1", and so I honestly think that for me, denim shopping is probably the hardest one to get exactly right. So in this video, I wanted to walk through seven different pairs of denim across five different brands to be able to show you the good and sometimes the bad, the non-fitting denim for petite women. So if you're looking to add a couple new pairs or you too are searching for that perfect chef's kiss pair of denim for your wardrobe, that will be your go-to for years to come. Hopefully this video is helpful for you to maybe narrow down to a few brands that might serve you the best. So let's get right into a petite denim haul. I wanted to start with the pair of jeans that I'm currently wearing because these are the ones that have been in my wardrobe the longest, meaning about probably three, two or three years. Now that might not seem like a very long time, but back in 2020, I kind of went through some health changes and my weight changed quite a bit and so i needed to size down in quite a few pairs of denim so that's what these are again the longest running pair in my wardrobe as of right now these are the levi wedgie fit icon denim i actually bought these a bit on a whim off of amazon they are very fairly priced we all know and love levi's for their kind of that like mostly under a hundred dollar price point these are a size 25 and they're a hundred percent cotton they are a very tried and true levi's in the sense that they are rigid denim they don't have any stretch in them but i really feel like this particular style suits a petite very very well because they are a bit of that more cropped fit, although I do tend to wear them mostly rolled up one notch, I just think that that for me and my proportions looks a little bit better unless I'm wearing heels. So I'll show you what they look like when I'm just wearing flats and then also when I'm wearing heels so that you can kind of see the difference between them cropped up one and then them just at their full length. Now, I have tried multiple pairs of the Levi 501s because those seem to be the cult classic, everyone loves denim from Levi's. They did not work for me. I don't know if I have any footage, past footage of me trying those on. I'll see if I can find it and put it in this video. But if not, you might just wanna do some exploring of some of the other Levi styles. They have so many styles. A lot of them are on Amazon and you can just buy them from a Levi store and then get really easy returns um, or just going into an actual Levi's store. That's what I did as well and tried on a number of different pairs. But, and I finally settled on the Wedgie Icon Fit denim. Again, they are just a very classic, kind of that mom denim style of jeans. They have a button fly. They're, now that they're a, they're a size 25, like I mentioned, and they're pretty well fitting. I would say I feel most comfortable typically wearing a belt with them, but it's all good. Honestly, I reach for these denim so much. They are kind of my classic fit, good to go. I know exactly how to style them and love them. So that's the first pair. The second pair is going to be kind of my second longest running pair of denim in my wardrobe, and that is from Abercrombie. So moving on to the second brand, we're going to talk about Abercrombie denim and why I actually love it so much. So at this point, I think I have tried on probably every different style of Abercrombie denim that they offer on their site. 
and they are coming out pretty consistently with new styles to kind of fit the trends. I've noticed yesterday, even when I was on their site, that they have some more like kind of bell bottom style flare denim going on right now. They even have pairs of skinny jeans on there. I think across the board, Abercrombie is probably my favorite place at the moment to buy denim if you are petite. Number one, they have a incredible selection of lengths or inseams. So they have a extra short, a short, a regular, a tall, and an extra tall. So no matter where you hit on the spectrum of height, if you are Miss Simone Bile standing at 4'8", you might want an extra short. If you are like myself, a short to a regular might be might work for you. But like I mentioned, the kind of second longest running pair of denim I have in my wardrobe is the High Rise 90s Straight Leg from Abercrombie. This is in a size 23 short and they have a little bit of stretch in them. They're supremely comfortable. They are definitely more of a straight leg rather than like a tailored or a slim fit. Definitely not a skinny jean. And so I just feel like these go with basically everything. They are such a classic style, such a classic shape, and I absolutely love them. In fact, I love them so much that I picked up another pair in a really unique colorway. So I got my second pair of these 90s high rise straight denim in the color oat. And this is such a unique color. It's kind of a like, tan gray situation going on definitely more on like the warmer side of things i have seen this color kind of across the internet in multiple variations for a while and i think it's such a flattering kind of late summer into early fall transition color of denim this i got in a size 24 and i do feel like this one has a little bit more stretch in it but mostly kind of that like rigid denim material and I absolutely love these. I think that for a couple trips we have coming up, especially in the fall time, these paired with sneakers, with Birkenstocks, they are going to be so great. I, being someone with a fairly short torso but longer legs, I really love the rise of the high rise, the 90s high rise. They also have the 90s in 90s style of denim in I think like a mid-rise as well. So you might just what I normally do with Abercrombie denim, I normally go on there, I pick a few kind of styles, I order them in, I do an at-home try-on because you're much more comfortable, you can take your time, you can try it with different tops and shoes and things like that. And I just think that it works so much better than trying to do it in the store. So I often end up sending a few items back that I don't love, sometimes the whole order, but sometimes you just have to play around with the sizing. For from petite, from a petite perspective, I tend to get the short. I find that the extra short is too short on me. So take that with what you will if you're 5'1 like me. Again, body composition is going to play into that. I have longer legs and a shorter torso. So I'm really going to probably gravitate towards the short rather than just the extra short. But I love the fact that not only in their length, but also in their sizing, Abercrombie is so inclusive for all different body types. They also have their full curve love selection that I have not tried anything from, but I have heard really, really good things if you just want a bit of extra room, a bit of comfort, things like that. So then the third pair of denim that I also grabbed from Abercrombie to try on is a pair that surprisingly just didn't work quite as well as I wanted them. So these are the ultra high rise straight jeans in a size 24 of the light color um, and ultimately for me I just didn't feel like they were super flattering I thought that they were less on that more kind of rigid denim side that I tend to gravitate towards and more of just like a 
it looks like denim but doesn't feel like denim so they definitely had more stretch in them probably more lasting in the actual fibers of the fabric but ultimately i didn't love these these would be really great if you are looking for a very classic very summer style pair of jeans but i wasn't i'm really now kind of focusing on what my late summer early fall even into later fall kind of wardrobe is going to look like so that's what i was focusing on but if you're looking for very classic these are very cropped i again just got the short and these definitely i probably could have gotten a regular in them because i do feel like they were quite cropped on me but ultimately i think they're a great pair of denim just not the style that I in particular was looking for. So if you're looking for a pair like this, then these might be the perfect pair for you. But ultimately, if you are a petite woman, you're looking for denim, go to Abercrombie. They have a pretty big denim sale coming up, I think, as I am recording this video. So they always have different styles, different promos, different new styles coming to their site and things like that. I will leave as always all of these linked in the description box below so that you can go shop for yourself. But let's move on to the third brand now. And also in full transparency, a few misses that I was really, really surprised by. So from other YouTube reviews around the internet, just reviews online, I had seen nothing but good things about the Reformation, Reformation Cynthia Denim. And so in a Reformation order a couple months ago, I picked up a pair of the Reformation Cynthia size 24 light wash denim and on the model they are beautiful they are cropped they are cool they fit so well and i had such high hopes for these and came out fairly disappointed so these are supposed to be a ankle length quite cropped style of denim with a slight flare at the bottom and for me they if I was not wearing heels, they dragged on the floor. So if you are petite and I don't believe in this style of denim or in any styles of denim, Reformation offers petite sizing. So as some of their, some of their dresses and some of their other pieces, they do offer petite sizing, but for denim, I do not believe they do. So keep that in mind. Ultimately, these just were not what I was looking for in a pair of denim. I will say that they fit very comparably to the Abercrombie 90s high rise straight in that regard, but I just wasn't mentally prepared for them to fit that way. And so then when they came and they were not fitting like they were designed to fit, I just knew that for the pretty hefty price tag of almost $200, these were just not the denim that I wanted to keep in my life. So if you are petite, I did you a favor by trying and buying the ref denim and they just do not work for petite women. I am fairly certain even on their website, they say the model is like 5'10", 5'11". So that should have been my first clue. But nonetheless, if you are looking for a pair of denim that are styled like this, they are very well fitting. They're in organic cotton mostly with a little bit of stretch to them, which I absolutely love. I think the more that we can integrate organic cotton into our fabrics, the better. That way we're not sitting and sweating and living in mostly polyester based clothing, which is more or less plastic and organic cotton is just again not sprayed with any of the harsh chemicals and solvents and things like that as it's being grown and produced so that's really awesome i'm really happy that they kind of have taken that initiative to create organic cotton denim but the fit just was not it i will say the fit around the waist was really great the size 24 fit very snug all the way around but i really do think that they would probably stretch out a little bit is what I was getting the feeling of. So ultimately length, absolutely not. But from a kind of every other fit perspective, they were great. So if you're willing to buy these and maybe get them really tailored or altered, they might be the jeans for you. 
The second pair of very kind of cult favorite, cult classic denim that I have seen so many people love and talk about and want to buy and have in their wardrobe, oh, these are the best, oh, they fit so well, blah, 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 is the A. Goldie Charlotte Crop High Rise Straight Denim. And yes, I'm pretty sure that is the full name of this pair of denim. I see everyone talk about this style of denim in particular. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was not blown away by them. So I got them on, tried them on with a few different kind of styles, flats, heels, etc. And they fit fine. There wasn't anything like massively wrong with them. I just didn't feel like they fit really like they were 100% supposed to be. Do you know when you just put on a pair of jeans and you're like, these are just not quite the vibe. That's exactly how I was feeling with these. So again, not any harsh criticism about, oh, they fit horribly this way. I thought they were gonna be like this and they were actually like this. No, they just didn't fit like I thought they were going to. These are more of a light wash denim and I do know that some of their other styles of denim have different material compositions. So these didn't have a lot of stretch to them. They were fine, but not a lot of stretch. Lengthwise, I will say that they kind of hit it like they weren't quite cropped, but they weren't quite full length. So you would have to maybe take them for myself up maybe like an inch or two. And I just feel like, again, with an almost $200 pair of jeans, I just kind of want them to fit correctly the first time. So I did not end up keeping these. These are not in my wardrobe currently. I have not tried on another pair from that, that brand of denim. So I'm not sure. I know that they almost exclusively, or at least they're very known for doing just denim. So I would be very curious about other styles but in particular the charlotte is just not the move for myself or probably for petites in general so if you're looking at the internet and every person is saying that these are their classic go-to ride and die pair of denim if you're petite maybe go in with a bit lower expectations to see if they actually work for you then last but not least let's talk about Cezanne. so i have had a long affair with Cezanne denim for many, many years now. They sometimes have great styles that are well suited for petites and then sometimes they do not. Specifically, I wanted to highlight kind of the probably most petite friendly pair of denim that they have on their website at the moment, which is the La Crop. I, I got these in, again, with fairly high expectations because they were that 7 8 fit. And I have another 7 8 pair of black denim from them that I've also had for a number of years that they fit very, very well. And they hit kind of right above the ankle bone and they're very elegant and they're very nice. They don't sell that pair anymore, so I'm not gonna talk about them today. But the Le Crop was supposed to be that very similar style. And again, kind of like the A Goldie, I just felt like they were fine, but they weren't great. They were almost there, but they weren't there all the way. So again, this is a fairly expensive pair of denim, not quite as much as Reformation or A Goldie. They're a bit more moderate, moderately priced, but still above that $100 range. So I thought that these would look really, really great with heels, but I don't have a lot of occasions to wear denim and heels. If I'm wearing heels, I'm probably going to be wearing a dress or a skirt or something more dressed up than just denim. I work at home, I don't work in an office, things like that. So if you're a petite and you're looking on the Cezanne website, the Le Croc might be for you. You might have different body proportions. You might have, you might be even 5'3", which is still considered petite. And in that case, I would say that the Le Croc probably is going to be very, very flattering on you. Ultimately, I just felt like, again, they were kind of that, they weren't quite full length, but they weren't quite cropped. 
They're a very, very flattering fit altogether. I loved the wider leg. I loved the wash of these in particular. I thought they were really, really beautiful, but I did end up sending them back because they just did not work super well with my body type and body proportions. So that is my 2024 late summer going into early fall denim review of seven different pairs of denim and five different brands kind of spanning across price points and across different styles. So I hope that it was helpful for you if you're looking at needing to buy some denim in the future or coming up and you are a petite, this was hopefully something that you'll be able to reference for the next few months or years as you are looking at doing everyone's favorite task, which is denim buying. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you leave a comment if you have any other pairs of denim that you have found as a petite that work really well for you. Give this video a like, like I said, a comment, and we'll see you in the next one.